whack and better get us next time because I haven't played there yet. But was it, uh, did you have the magic moments that you described uh, earlier in the interview? Uh, did, at some point during the making of this record, did you feel that again? This, this record was the first record, again, that we had this band feeling and everybody was so comfortable and we knew that we're onto something really big here. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Doctrine is the best Pestilence album ever, really. Uh, it's not only technical or musical, but um, the the fine tuning of the the equal guys in the band. You know, I didn't feel I had to do everything anymore. It was more like a band effort. It was not like I'm producing every album. I'm doing all the music. I'm doing all the solos. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. No, it was a joint venture this time, and and you can kind of hear it because. It's a very fierce album, it's very technical, but uh, you can also hear that we have just fun playing. But did you have to learn that a little bit, to let things loose a little bit, that you stick to your I'm part a control, and the other? Yeah, I'm a control freak. I was in the, in, in, always been, you know, not like the band leader that tells you what to do, but I've always tried to keep um, a, a, a hard grip on um, something that I could control, you know, mm -hmm. and, and once it's out of your hands, it goes to the record company and then it's gone, really. Then Is you that can't always do a, a, a difficult moment for you? That's always a difficult moment because you, you, you let your child go, you know, for adoption. Yeah, and who knows what they make of it. Uh, right. Yeah. So what, what do you hope to achieve? I mean, for you, it's now more of a fun thing. That doesn't mean that it's less important, of course, but uh, yeah, to, with Pestilence combined with your your other family life as well. Uh, what do you? How do you see to pursue now the, the Pestilence career? Okay. Is it yeah, no, no. It's just like what I see with Pestilence is like uh, uh, we want to get the Krenten out of the pub, let's yeah. say. We just want to do the, the the things that are like very important for us and 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 and, and enjoy doing them. You know, I don't want to be three four weeks in a tour bus anymore. I I want to do. Uh, the, the nice things, you the know. Focus. Uh, yeah, focus on, on the good things uh, in the Pestilence life. Let's say we've done like a, a mini tour in South America, which was uh, not only successful, but was something that we haven't done <laughs> in the past, you know. I don't want to be doing a uh, Hell Fest uh, every year or do do uh, Wacken every year. Wacken, uh, better get us next time because haven't played there yet. Uh -huh. You know, but we want to do stuff that is like very very new for us that keeps it interesting for us to do you know mm -hmm. and uh, we're doing the 70,000 tons of metal we're going to do that uh, next year we're going to do another South American tour uh, going also to countries that we didn't go this time uh, we want to do Australia New Zealand uh, Japan when everything is relaxed again so we were trying to do and uh, you know do something else now mm -hmm. did, did you uh, at the, maybe was it the first moment that you got abroad in South America with the the pestilence. Uh, you did the states also before. So. Yeah, we did the states with the new lineup, mm -hmm. which was not such a big, big uh, or great su success. But we kind of knew that already up front. Mm -hmm. uh, but for us to be there at the Maryland Death Test was uh, was something that we really had to do because uh, we had to cancel uh, the the one before. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're very driven on doing that, uh, which is w w actually what we're trying to do is now we're trying to get. Um, as much impact as possible with this new album, you know, you know, that doesn't mean that we have to tour for three or four months because, you know, be, me being a, a family man, I don't want to be away from my kids for that long. Mm -hmm. But I want to uh, expose as many people as possible at festivals or something to the new Pestilence album, especially now that we're playing eight string guitar. This is something, yeah, that's it's something that revolutionary a little bit has to be, well, you know, bands like Sugar. Uh, they have seven, I think. They, also no, they got eight, oh, eight, eight strings. Sorry, yeah, okay. um, and um, uh, some other bands are doing it as well, but, you know, n never the way that Pestilence is doing it, because we're actually playing the, gu we're actually playing the guitar instead of using, using it as a, as, as a rhythmical thing. But now say. with a lot of new technology available for you also, maybe you can pitch guitars, I mean, is that something you also dig into a little bit, that you can see if you can use that for your benefit? Some we, we, technology? Never, we never want to use um, um, a technology to, um, to, to kind of mask that we're not good musicians. So we're always trying to be as natural as possible, mm -hmm. meaning that we'll never down tune uh, um, or stuff what you're saying, pitching stuff. Uh, it, it has to be natural, really. 
Okay. So, uh, but Eight String is for us new adventure. Uh, Pestles has always been a band that evolves from f uh, the first album to this album is a huge step, and all those steps in between are consuming impulse testimony spheres, and um, a resurrection macabre. So, uh, resurrection macabre was was a good um, return album, let's say, but. This album is uh, pretty much what we're up to right now. Setting the, the standards. standards. Okay. Setting the standards really high this time. Let me tell you. That's good. Last, uh, will you pursue your musical ambitions now uh, through the metal, or is there also on the side for you uh, some more jazz? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm still I'm still working on my my other um, project, Gestalt. It's called, and I'm working on this for many many years. I've had this idea in my head. And um, Jeroen's going to be bass playing for it as well, so there's going to be two original Pestles members. But the rest is uh, just going to be probably um, like more highly studied musicians uh, for, for drumming and keyboards, for, uh, I guess. So it's going to be something that is more like fusion-like and more out there crazy stuff. For the music freaks. Uh. For the music, just for the musical freaks and <laughs> just really for the music, just for the sake of music. And if it doesn't sell any albums, I don't care. It's crazy music for crazy people. Okay. Yeah, so as long as this uh, pestilence keeps going, you will stay out of the, the ring fighting it. Definitely. <laughs> and I think my wife likes that as well. <laughs> I don't get a crooked nose and stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.